I joined a team from Bigelow Laboratories as we met 12 different groups on the coast of California for a research cruise, focusing on the iron biogeochemistry of the California current. This region features a diverse range of nutrient and wind conditions that create a mosaic of ecosystems. Southern bound winds blow down the coastline, pushing water away from shore and drawing up the cold waters from below. This deep, upwelled water is rich in nutrients and capable of supporting dense levels of green life. Although high in macronutrients like phosphate and nitrate, the low levels of bioavailable iron become limiting to the production of biomass. We're interested in how differing levels of iron can change the biological response in the phytoplankton community, specifically diatoms, and whether ferritin, an iron-storing protein, creates a competitive advantage for some. Meet the Melville, our home and lab for just under four weeks. In Port in San Diego, we loaded the boat with a plethora of science equipment and instrumentation, and enough food to sustain some 60 people for 24 days. Being on a boat made of metal, we were highly vulnerable to contamination. We transformed the main lab into a clean room by wrapping it in plastic, adding four filtered fans that provide positive pressure ventilation, and by controlling what goes in and out. Being on a boat with indeterminate weather conditions, everything had to be secured. <laughs> we were briefed in safety procedures and potential abandoned ship situations, and then began using a range of sampling techniques, including systems that filter water at depth, that bring water cleanly on board, and that sample continuously from the surface as we transit sampling sites. Much of our experimentation involves incubations, taking water with the specific nutrient conditions, adding iron, and observing the biological response in the changing forms of iron. Although we can run some measurements on board, much of our analysis will happen once we return home. So that was a zooplankton too. We are collecting zooplankton for an experiment where we're going to see if zooplankton produce compounds that bind iron when they eat phytoplankton. This could happen to you at home, kids. Ew. You're gonna smell like that for weeks. <laughs>